Maine could be on pace to set another record-breaking year for cases of Lyme disease. According to the Maine CDC, there have been more than 2,500 cases so far in 2024. That's just 400 less that were reported in all of 2023. Scientists at the University of Maine Tick Lab are stepping up their efforts to track ticks migrating into new areas, areas of the state and determine what conditions help ticks carrying diseases thrive. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has more on the story from Orono. For these University of Maine students, your backyard is ground zero. Oh, I got one. Oh, you got one? In the battle against ticks carrying illnesses, Sarah Manning, Madison Gordon, and Alyssa Marini, a PhD student in biological science, have been dragging for ticks on residential properties since the summer. The homes, all with wooded lots, are located across Waldo, Penobscot, and Hancock counties. So we try to go at the same pace as each other. The fall is the most active season for adult ticks, and the numbers prove this. On one property alone, students collected 50 deer ticks. One that had a lot of the Borrelia uh, pathogens, so Borrelia um, burdorferi, which is the agent for Lyme disease. The data is part of Alyssa's dissertation for her doctoral degree and will help homeowners take precautions. I wanted the residents to know what sort of ticks were on their property um, and what sort of pathogens were present. It's really important to um, like keep an idea of where they are uh, and like how much damage they are actually doing. This research is critical as cases of Lyme disease spread by deer ticks continue to rise. Maine already recorded more than 2,500 cases of Lyme in 2024 and new records for anaplasmosis and babesiosis, two common tick-borne illnesses. Griffin Dill, an integrated pest management specialist at the University of Maine Tick Lab, says tick submissions from the public haven't spiked, but there has been an increase in small mammal populations, including white-footed mice, squirrels, moles, and shrews, all primary hosts for Lyme and other diseases. Now, if we have a lot of those on the landscape, then they can be harboring high levels of these infections and thus transmitting them back and forth to, right. the, to the ticks. The lab has set up 15 monitoring sites across the state, collecting data on tick numbers, soil and weather conditions, and wildlife, all to find out what is allowing ticks into new regions of Maine. Alyssa and her team will analyze the ticks for diseases, and they will also undergo a blood meal analysis to determine what kind of animals they feed on. This underscores the importance of wearing protective clothing and using an EPA approved repellent while outdoors. And the biggest thing is checking for ticks afterwards. So you can protect yourself and your pets, especially in your backyard. In Orono, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. For more information on ticks and the diseases they carry, plus real-time data from the Maine CDC, head over to our website or mobile app.